Welcome back, my name is Last Snow Meal, and this is going to be my third video about Kingdom Come Deliverance. Today I want to talk about the future of this game, because being released a couple of days ago, Kingdom Come shows a huge promise, and even though I really enjoyed it, there are visual and gameplay bugs in the game, which they need to fix, because I noticed that a lot of people that would enjoy the game either refunded or are waiting for a patch. Honestly, I have a huge tolerance towards bugs and glitches, and even though I experienced some of them, for example, just last night I clicked on the alchemy table and flew away, since the save was an hour ago I lost a lot of progress. So you can see what I'm trying to say here, that just working on these problems will attract more people, because honestly, this game deserves it. Because finally, I have an RPG that doesn't guide my hand, that makes me immersed in the world because I feel like I am an ordinary man trying to fulfill my quest for vengeance, and so many more elements that I talked about in my previous video, I am going to link it at the end. But besides the problems with gameplay, Kingdom Come also has visual problems. FPS is not the best, honestly it is all over the place. I am running this game on Nvidia 1060 and Intel i7 and even though I am able to run this game on very high settings, the FPS is not consistent. And not just in high settings, even when I lower every setting in the game, I will have some parts of the map that will have normal FPS, but I will turn for example around and the FPS is going to go down by 20 or even 30. Now it's not so consistent, like it's not too much to ruin your experience, but it needs to be worked on. Next problem when it comes to visuals is when a map is loading you fast travel to a location and it seems it takes quite a while for the game to load a certain object on the map, like there's going to be a castle really close to you that is going to take about 10 seconds to load. Other than that, game only crashed once for me, but the problem is that everyone gets different bugs. Some get less, some get more, so maybe my experience and review would be different if I had more glitches or bugs. There are some people reporting that they can't even start the game. And people have been saying the same, it's a great game, just wait for it to be patched. Same as me, I have 60 hours so far, I've been playing this non-stop, but this game definitely needed a couple of more months in the oven, just because it would attract more people, because it would be more polished when it came out. Other gameplay elements like combat, people are reporting that their sword gets stuck or the controls are not responsive, Honestly, I did not have those problems. The problems that I have come with when you fight multiple enemies. It's very iffy to change between like fighting multiple enemies. I will fight one guy, then I'm going to try to uh, switch to a different person and like it, it's not so responsive and fluid and it would definitely cost you your life. And being a game which is hardcore and um, if you make a mistake, it will cost you, especially in combat. So having this problem in fighting multiple enemies in one go, it needs to be worked on because the motion between switching to a different enemy is not fluid and it gets uh, stuck sometimes, so it's not the best. And getting stuck in foliage when I'm going through the forest is probably the thing that goes on my nerves the most. Or even getting stuck on a stairs and not being able to go up to a trader or to finish a quest because I cannot go up the freaking stairs. So yes, it's the problem It needs to be worked on. When it comes to saves where you don't have a quick save or an exit save, having these bugs and crashes causes a problem where you might potentially lose progress and it's not your fault. Now developers are working on upgrading the system, I do understand the decision behind this, having a quick save would make this game really easy, but adding an exit save would be a blessing. Other than that, game is having a mod support, therefore we can expect a lot of amazing mods in the future. There are already a lot of them on Nexus, but I'm guessing that the bigger ones are coming in the future and they will prolong the lifespan of the game, adding stuff like weapons, armor, different stories and so on. Look, this is not a first time a game has a bad start and then after some time it patches becomes really good. You have games like The Division or Rainbow Six Siege that pull that one off. Now, the problem with The Division was it didn't have much content. Kingdom Come Deliverance has a lot of content, but 
it's having bugs, it's having glitches that alienates a lot of people from this game. Kingdom Come has a strong foundation, it really is a good game and one hell of an RPG and after some time it's going to attract even more people, although it's not for everyone. If you don't have patience and are not willing to learn from your mistakes, well, this game is going to be challenging for you. But look, it's mostly technical issues, story, characters and much more is a definitive plus for this game. A quest with a certain priest made me laugh so much to the point where I don't remember when was the last time I had such a laugh in a video game. So to answer your question, if you're not certain about buying this game because of the bugs, I would wait a bit, because I can't tell you 100% that you will have less or more bugs. Maybe even wait for a sale, I bought this full price and I did not regret this, but I am someone who really loves RPGs. And even after some time when more content comes in in the form of mods and even expansions I believe and when they fix all the patches, I will love this even even more. So this is all I have for today, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and tell me down below what you think about Kingdom Come Deliverance. I am interested to hear your opinions, LKM signing out and stay classy everyone, bye bye.